Now we're on the snake. It is the sixth sign of the lunar cycle. And I will be reading all five elemental snakes. Metal snake. This type of snake is gifted with a calculating and intelligent mind and enormous willpower. Armed with discriminating tastes and a keen eye for locating opportunity, he can be a scheming loner. He likes to move quickly and quietly. He will establish himself in a solid position before you have a chance to stop or unseat him. Hold on. I need to just... Okay. Metal combined with his native sign will make him crave luxury and easy living. Thus, he will devote himself to the pursuit of wealth and power. His vision is clear and farsighted, and he will aspire to have the best of everything. The metal snake is by far the most secretive, evasive, and overconfident snake. Consequently, he often suspects others of hidden motives, sometimes to the point of paranoia. In spite of his ability to gain power and influence, this snake will have an envious streak and will constantly try to outdo the opposition either by fear or either by fair means or foul means. He finds it hard to accept defeat or failure, possessive, domineering, and at times strangely uncommunicative. He will mark out his path early in life and stick to it with dedication. He can be generous and cooperative with others, but always in a guarded way. Rarely one to gamble all his money in one go, he will keep something in reserve to live and fight another day, so never underestimate him. The water snake. Just as water seeps through practically any barrier, so a snake born in its year will wield an all-encompassing influence because of his profound insight. This unassailable snake is gifted with strong charisma and an inquisitive nature. Shrewd, business-oriented, and materialistic, the water snake possesses great mental abilities and powers of concentration. He can block out distractions and brush aside unimportant issues to achieve effective overall planning. He never loses sight of his goals, nor does he lose touch with reality. Artistic and well-read, the intellectual water snake is also practical. He is as adept at reading and managing people as handling finances. While he may assume a calm and serene demeanor, in actuality, this particular personality has a long memory and harbors lifetime grudges. He could have the patience of Job combined with the bite of a king cobra. Oh, Job, sorry, my bad. He could have the patience of Job. You know, the story of Job in the Bible? Yeah. If you don't know that story, well, look it up and read it because that man went through a lot of shit. Anyways. But yeah. It's the patience of Job combined with the bite of a king cobra. Wood snake. An earnest snake with kindly wisdom and a prophetic understanding of what is going to prevail in the course of events, especially in history. He has a need for complete intellectual freedom, but in his affections, he will be constant and enduring. He seeks emotional stability as well as financial security. This type of snake will express himself well and could be a forceful, eloquent speaker. I need to reposition myself again. Sorry. Ugh. Okay. The wood element in conjunction with his fixed element of positive fire will make him very magnetic and interesting. He will shine like a beacon light, attracting instead of pursuing the objects and people he desires. Likely to have expensive tastes and habits, he could be vain about his personal appearance. Because he craves admiration and public approval, he will do his utmost to achieve lasting and large-scale success. The wood state the wood snake is well informed, but he gathers knowledge not for his not for its own sake, but to put such information to everyday use. 
don't be surprised if he keeps a file on everyone and cross-references all his data. <laughs> so this will be a snake that keeps like a little black book or something. <laughs> Good judgment, detective work, discretion, and a sharp sense of values will make him a superb investor and an appreciator, appreciator of the finer things in life. Here is an amiable snake who will be very close to art, music, the theater, and all the beautiful things in life that material success has to offer. The fire snake. An intense and masterful snake, active in mind and body. The fire snake performs energetically. However, fire added to the already imposing snake personality can give him too much passion and ambition. Armed with popular appeal and a charisma that could melt down the steeliest resistance. He exudes self-confidence as an ability to lead. People will vote for this type of person if he chooses to go into politics. Interesting. I wonder who's a fire snake in politics, huh? Should look that up. Although he may hold open forums to solicit or assess the views of the majority, the fire snake is terribly suspicious by nature and has total faith only in himself. He is too quick to censure and condemn. Sometimes he insulates himself within a closed circle of friends and advisors, thereby isolating himself without knowing it. His strong, almost maniacal, maniacal desire for fame, money, and power will make him insist on concrete results. Persevering and uncompromising, he sets his sights on the highest goals, and once he gets to the top, he will cling to power indefinitely. Oh yeah, it definitely sounds like politicians for sure. The fire snake is the most sensual, fervent, and jealous kind of snake. He will display excessive love or hate and can be very preoccupied with himself and his desires. Always in the thick of things, he will make his presence felt wherever he goes. Earth snake. This is a warm and spontaneous variety of snake who will form slow but correct opinions of, a people, of people and situations. So willing to change the way that they think about people or things. More principled, persistent, and reliable than the other snakes, the earth snake will be able to communicate with the public and function effectively in group activities. Armed with his peripheral vision and basic snake ambition, he can take control and bridge gaps during times of confusion and panic. He or she will not be easy to intimidate and may refuse to be influenced by public opinion. This snake is constant in his convictions and reserves the right to pass judgment. He will relo pardon, he will locate and identify new trends and opportunities before others realize their importance. By and large, this will be the most graceful and enchanting of all the snakes. Cool, collected, immensely charming. He will be loyal to his friends and will have an army of supporters. Conservative and frugal with money, the hardworking and systematic earth snake will succeed in banking, insurance, and real estate investments and can learn to reconcile his needs with the resources at hand. Here is a snake who knows his limits and who will be careful not to overextend himself. And now let's look at compatibility. The snake and the rat. There's a good degree of attraction and interaction here, and a relationship will be satisfactory provided both snake and the rat utilize, well, realize the usefulness of the other. These signs are success-oriented and drawn to power and recognition. The rat will admire the snake's wisdom, and the snake will appreciate the rat's resourcefulness and intelligence. The one danger could come from the fact they both have a tendency to take big risks. One of them must learn to put on the brakes and draw the line where and when they will stop. The ox and the snake. The snake finds a loyal, trustworthy friend in the ox. The two animals understand each other, respecting their shared methodical ways. The snake will be more likely to set direction for the two of them rather than vice versa. But the ox will have few complaints with the snake's leadership because his instincts are typically very accurate. The snake and the ox will feel comfortable in trusting each other with big responsibilities 
and guarded secrets because they both share the same high standards for friendship. Lifelong friendships are common between the snake and the ox. Tiger. A mutually suspicious partnership at best results when the snake teams up with the tiger. They do not relate well unless one has the other's sign as an ascendant because they tend to be competitive and unsympathetic when their interests are opposed. The tiger can be outspoken and openly aggressive in order to get his way while the snake will resist to the death. Conflicts and ill feelings also develop when they fail to communicate or misinterpret each other's motives. The snake usually has the upper hand because he's able to hide his true feelings under a mask of inscrutability, while the tiger can't help throwing a temper tantrum to show his displeasure to the whole world. <laughs> um, the rabbit and the snake. There are no great animosities between these two refined and elegant personalities. But they are so self-contained, there will only be a lukewarm tie unless they find something special to bind them together. Civil and congenial relationships are likely because neither will openly declare war when it is not to his or her benefit. A mutual ascendant could be very beneficial for a long-term union between these two art-loving personalities. Sharing mutual goals and accomplishments encourage the snake and rabbit to realize that they have need for each other's skills. Dragon. The snake will find the dragon's courage and affinity for success very attractive and will have no difficulty teaming up with the dragon to achieve mutual aims. Sympathetic and compatible relationships can be developed when these two powerful signs need each other's talents. talents. The snake can be practical practical and ruthlessly focused when he is after something, so he will appreciate the dragon's philosophy of never giving up. Ambition will be the key word in their partnership. They will reap many rewards if each plays his or her part well. The Snake and the Snake Snakes hold little animosity for one another and can usually cohabit amicably, amicably if there is no big struggle for power. Because they understand each other so well, they may coexist even when they have distinctly different goals. Two snakes will intertwine or intermingle when it comes to areas of common interest, then go their separate ways without regret. They could form strong bonds of friendship when they feel unity is needed to achieve their mutual ambition. Otherwise, you won't find them clashing unless there is an object they both desire and their overwhelming jealousy and possessive natures do not permit any resolution. Horse and snake. The snake and the horse will have cool to distant relationships as they both as they are both fixed fire signs who dance to different drummers. The horse is quick to sense new vibrations and responds energetically with passion. The snake is intuitive and sensuous in a totally different way. Unless they have the same ascendant and share a common perspective, they may selfishly refuse to cooperate and will instead go their separate ways unless the gains far outweigh, lo are outweigh losses. The snake could also be too withdrawn and pensive for the hyperactive horse. The horse's feelings are always on the surface while the snake keeps his hidden far beneath his serene exterior. The sheep and the snake. The lovable, compassionate sheep can sometimes prove frustrating to the intensely intellectual snake personality. The sheep has much to offer, but often demands too much and can be very unreasonable and sentimental. The snake will not like to make long-term commitments or give in to whims of the sheep unless it will benefit him. The sheep needs the snake's direction and constancy of purpose while the snake could benefit from the sheep's expansive talents and sweet nature. But then again, the sheep's best friend, the boar, will be at odds with the snake and will point out all his negative traits to the easily influenced and docile sheep. In such a contest, the sheep will side with the boar every time and distance himself from the ambitious, tenacious serpent. The monkey and the snake. 
These two resolute and calculating personalities cannot compromise much unless they share a common ascendant and common ambitions. The monkey finds it hard to trust or like the enigmatic snake who tends to keep his thoughts to himself. The snake sizes up the clever monkey and is fearful of the masterful ape's capacity to put one over on him when he is not looking. Both will watch each other's moves intently and be unable to relax in each other's company for too long. Sometimes we could even find them having a contest to see who will blink first. <laughs> That's a good comparison. The stakes must be large and the potential gains enormous for these two to cooperate and pool their resources. The snake and the rooster. The snake and the rooster appreciate each other's strengths. The rooster quickly zeroes in on the snake's keen sense of direction. And the snake appreciates the rooster's impressive attention to detail. Together, they can accomplish highly ambitious projects with great success. The snake will gravitate to the role of the strategist. And the rooster will carry out any plan to the letter. S strategist. 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 Okay. Each party respects the other's ability to carry out a given task, so their union is very efficient and peaceful. The dog and the snake. The dog and the snake have mutual respect for each other and do not want confrontation if they can avoid it. They will be compatible and amicable to a good degree, as the dog is trustworthy and the snake's ambitiousness does not disturb the dog who can be loyal to, to the steadfast and persevering snake. The snake is able to convince the dog of the validity of his ideas and philosoph philosophies and will share the dog's often idealistic outlook on life too. The dog is not prone to jealousy or possessiveness and will understand the snake's need for dominance and privacy when the snake tends to become introspective. The snake and the boar. The snake and the boar do not appreciate each other's strengths <laughs> because their personalities are such polar opposites. The snake is slow to trust others and is a consummate planner when it comes to moves both big and small in life. On the other side, the boar has an outgoing nature that embraces new things with spontaneity and optimism. And this, the snake finds many of the boar's actions too adventurous for his taste and can be unfairly skeptical of his generous nature. And that's what I have for the snake.